Also new tonight, we may not be the near the top of the Amazon list, but MGM is doubling down on Las Vegas. The gaming giant is set to invest millions in makeovers for its properties, and it's not alone. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan shows us why companies are putting money back into the Las Vegas Strip. The biggest change many people will notice out here on the Strip is the $550 million rebranding of the soon-to-be Park MGM. It's a three-year project that will change the face and name of the Monte Carlo. MGM Resort CEO Jim Murren recently saying the company is planning to focus its capital on its Las Vegas properties, but don't expect any changes like you're seeing at the Monte Carlo. Think smaller. Local hospitality experts like CSN professor Terry Jones says the reinvestment in Las Vegas is a sign the economy has fully recovered. Jones says there still isn't a need for more rooms, so companies are competing to provide nicer rooms. It's not cheap to renovate your properties. I mean, we're still talking a significant investment, but far less expensive than from a ground up. Of course, you don't have to look far to see those smaller changes. Caesars Entertainment is currently renovating rooms at Harrah's and the Flamingo, and most properties are working to add new restaurants and stores. But we took the question of which property needs a facelift to the streets. If I could think of anything, maybe the Luxor. Excalibur. Possibly the MGM. I think I would do the Stratosphere. I think it needs some updating. When it comes to which properties get a makeover, experts say it's all about the market and where companies see tourists heading. They say it's pretty easy to guess where companies will be spending their money in the coming years when you look at the stadium under construction. I believe that the south end of the strip will sort of get a lot more attention. As for the major changes here at the Monte Carlo, Murren says he expects those to be finished by the end of next year. Reporting on the Strip, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Exciting times.